हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रैकिंग अनरियल आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर न्यू ट्यूटोरियल दैट इज द लॉस्ट आइलैंड दिस इज द वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल्स आई हैव कम अप सो फार यू विल लर्न अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट फॉर एग्जांपल द लेयर ब्लेंडिंग द डिस्प्लेसमेंट द नैनाइट लैंडस्केप्स एंड सो मच मोर सो हियर वी गो दिस इज द अनरियल प्रोजेक्ट ब्राउजर गो टू द गेम्स Select the first person template. You can select the third person as well. It all depends on your likeness. So just make sure just take this ray tracing. This is the project location. This is the project name. I will go for the island or lost island. Just create my project. Okay, our project has started. This is the default first person template we have. Uh, we need to create a new map for our project for this go to the content browser right click have a new folder called map double click and just create a new level call this island and just double click on it so this is our new map we don't have any lights in our map for now for that we need to create the basic lighting setup go to the windows this is the environment light mixer and create skylight atmospheric light the sky atmosphere everything okay and then go to the very last of it and take this volumetric fog okay now we need to have a landscape for our project just go to the landscape and select the size to the 127 into 127 quarts and create new landscape go to the selection mode okay so this is our landscape okay okay so this is our landscape we have okay just save your project frequently now we need to add an ocean to our landscape for this go to the plugins type water take this one water extras as well and restart your project our project has restarted let's close this window collision profile settings just go to the very end of it add entry to default engine.ini just click this one and close this one as well open the content browser to the go to the content map this is the new map we have created and this is the landscape we have okay now we need to place the ocean in our project for this go to this plus sign place actors panel type water and this is the water body ocean just drag this one here you can just close this place actors panel just wait for the mesh cars to be ready after that click on this and just drag this one like this okay okay that's done so we have the basic landscape here and we have the ocean here okay we can change the settings for our ocean later on we don't need to do that right now okay now we need to add textures to our landscape well in 5.3 we have the latest technology that is called the displacement what does displacement really do it just add the multiple layers you can add the multiple layers for example i will add a ripple sand and i will add a rocky ground and i will add some grains to it and i will create a master material and then i will apply it on our landscape and the displacement will change the height for some layers and it looks so stunning so just stay focused it's a bit complicated but it's not that hard so just follow everything i do okay just save your project okay go to the content browser and we need to create a master material just create a new folder called it master 
material open this one up create a new uh, create a new material call this the landscape mask okay just double click on it this is the blueprint we have for our landscape master but there is one issue that we don't have the displacement option here okay just don't worry you just need to close this one save your project save everything okay just close your project and you need to set these two values i will show it how don't worry just copy these two values you can see these two values here i will share it in my description as well and go to your project location for me it's in drive e uh, this is the lost island go to the config this is the default engine.ini just hold ctrl and f find render this is the render settings we have just make this it's not necessary but i'm just doing it anyway okay and just paste these values here the nanite values here and just save this default engine.ini save this one up and close this down and then restart your project okay our project has restarted we need to load our map which you go to the map folder double click on island this is our map okay just go to the content master material this is our master material now we have the option of displacement here now we need to open the content browser and we need to add materials to our blueprints for this we need to go we can just drag this on here and we can tag this one here okay we need to go to the quick fill bridge i will go to the local as i already downloaded them this is the dry sand just make sure to download in the highest quality just add this one and we need to have another one that is this is the rocky sand we have add this one and the third is the uh, ripple sand this one add this one as well just close this window okay go to the landscape master open the content browser go to the mega scans surfaces okay we need to add all of these materials to our blueprint but we need to add them in a sequence for example the first layer will be the top layer the second layer will be the second medium layer the, the third layer will be lowest layer lowest layer we have for our landscape first of all we need to add the rocky sand just select these three textures drag them here yes. The second one is we need the ripple sand. Just select like these three and drag them here. And the last we need is the dry sand. Just drag the, all of these here. Okay. And we need to just set them up properly. Okay, that's been done now we need to have some other nodes here just right click and this is the layer coordinates just drag this one here then hold m click, click the left click this is the multiply node then hold one left click this is the constant node just connect this one here this one goes here we will change the value to one okay we need to copy all of this and we need to paste it here and and here now we need to connect them with all the uvs we have the multiply node this one goes here this one goes here and this one goes here same goes for this this one goes to the base uv this one goes to the normal and this one goes to the this one same goes for here
Okay. Okay. Now we need to convert this value to parameter. We just right click, convert to parameter, and we will rename it to the same name we have for the textures. This is the rocky sand. So we will rename it to the rocky sand. Okay. And this one is the ripple, ripple sand. And we need to convert it to parameter and this is the ripple ripple sand and this is the last one we need to convert it to parameter and we will rename it to the dry sand this is the dry sand we have Okay. Okay. That's been done. Now we need to add another. Now we need to add another node. Just right click. Just make material attributes. This is the make material attributes. Just like this one here. Copy this one. Paste this one here. And for our last material, place this one here. Okay. Now we need to. Okay, now we need to connect the base color with the base color. The normal will go to the normal. And for this one, where the displacement goes, we need to connect this red one with the ambient. The green one will go to the roughness. And this blue one will go to the displacement. Same goes for here. This is the base color. Normal will go to the normal. And for this, the red value will go to the ambient the green value will go to the roughness and the green with red but the blue one will go to the displacement so the base color normal ambient roughness displacement okay now we need to have another node this is called the landscape layer blend this is the landscape layer blend just like this one here okay and we need to have three layers as we have three materials so we have these three indexes for our landscape layer blend when we need to rename it we will give the same name as we have for our parameter constant parameter this is the rocky sand copy this name select this one Go to the index this is the first name we have okay this is the second one this is the ripple sand like this one go to the index one and just paste it here and for the last one we have the dry sand just copy this name like this one go to the index two and the layer name will be dry sand okay so these are the all the values we have now we need to connect this make material attributes with the layer plan the this goes to the rocky sand the second one will go to the ripple sand and the third one will go to the dry sand now we need to have another node called break material attributes this is the break material attributes just connect this one here and for this it's pretty simple the base color will go to the base color the roughness will go to the roughness the normal will go to the normal the ambient occlusion will go to the ambient and the displacement will go to the displacement just save this one up go to your island okay and open the content browser this is the master material just right click on it create a material instance okay select your landscape this is your landscape go down this is the landscape material select this one and just click on this okay don't worry we need to make some few adjustments and it will go fine after that go to the landscape go to the paint so these are all the three textures we have just click on this create layer info and then 
weight planted layer normal save this one up same goes for the second one and for the third one go to the selection mode as we zoom in still we don't see the displacement here but don't worry it's pretty easy don't worry go to the landscape In material we have created select this attribute and there is an option called displacement just go there and you need to select the magnitude I will go for the 0 0.08 for me just save this one up go to the island and this is the last step we have go to the landscape go down just take enable nanite and build data okay the displacement is been done as you can see if we just zoom in we will have this beautiful looking landscape we have well this looks stunning so we have the displacement here as you just go down as you can see we have a displacement on our landscape and this looks stunning i love it you can increase the displacement as well go to the landscape and you can increase it this value to the maybe 0 0.09 and just save this one up go to the island and you can just go and rebuild your data again okay well as you can see we have a good displacement around landscape and it looks stunning i love it well that looks stunning it's so beautiful the displacement is one of the best technologies i have ever seen in unreal engine so far okay guys we are done with the landscape we are done with the basic oceans and we are done with this very beautiful displacement nanite landscape okay guys that's all for now we will resume our project in the second part of this tutorial i hope you like it and if you have any questions regarding the, the, the displacement and anything you can ask me in the comment section well the displacement is a bit buggy you may have you may have some crashes along the way but don't worry uh, it will be fixed with a new, the new update when, whenever it comes to unreal engine so stay tuned for the second part in the second part there is a very big thing coming you will learn how to blend the 3d assets with this nanite landscape and it will lock it will change the look of this landscape completely and you will love it and there is ton of other things so stay tuned and see you all bye